President Trump calling out Nike for the, quote, terrible message it's sending with the new Colin Kaepernick ad campaign. And he's not the only one. Carly Shimkus with Fox News Headlines 24-7, Sirius XM 115, here with the reaction from Nike and from the NFL as well. Hey, Carly. Hey, good morning, guys. So the NFL may be desperate for fans to focus on football, but league executives are supporting this ad and the players who protest. They said in a statement, the National Football League believes in dialogue, understanding, and unity. The social justice issues that Colin and other professional athletes have raised deserve our attention and action. Well, the National Association of police organizations, they also weighed in and they slammed the ad for suggesting that Colin Kaepernick has sacrificed every, everything, saying the fact that Mr. Kaepernick is no longer a starting NFL player does not equate to him being someone who has sacrificed everything to truly understand what it means. You should look to Arlington National Cemetery. An outrage still pouring in, guys, on social media. Take a look at some of these tweets. This person says, I will never buy another Nike product again. Go Adidas. Another Twitter user saying, burn your Nike gear. And still another writing, Nike no longer in my closet or shopping list. Uh, so the company's got to worry about people who feel this way, but they are standing by the ad saying, we believe Colin is one of the most inspirational athletes of this generation who has leveraged the power of sport to help move the world forward. How about that? Okay. We'll see what happens. We'll follow the stock. Um, so Ben Sass called out a lot of what he thinks was ridiculous about yesterday's hearing uh, for Kavanaugh, for Judge Kavanaugh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he's got another comment here. This is funny. Yeah, sure does. So he's basically saying that Judge Kavanaugh shouldn't take a Democratic criticism personally because it is all about playing politics. The lunacy you see when when uh, Judge Kavanaugh is, we, we hear that he hates women, he hates children, he wants dirty water, he wants dirty air, all this nonsense. What they're trying to do is scream the loudest and seem to be fighting the longest um, to try to make the hearing seem political. Uh, well, that's not all, though. Sass also blasting New Jersey Senator Cory Booker for saying for, uh, for saying he sent out this fundraising email during the hearing, tweeting uh, about opposition to the Supreme Court nominee is not the job of a senator. It is cynical play acting for a political base. He also tweeted the American people see right through this. The result will be yet again a smaller Senate and a more tribal electorate. Uh, well, Booker's uh, Booker's camp, they responded to this. They spoke to the Daily Caller. They said it wasn't a fundraising email it, it, because it didn't ask people for money, but it did provide a link to ticket sales for an upcoming conference. Okay. Interesting. Uh, so a Maryland restaurant has a message for PETA, right? Uh, yes, that's right. Remember PETA? They put up a, a billboard near a bunch of Maryland seafood restaurants saying, I'm me, not meat. And that ad also featured uh, uh, an image of a crab. Well, a crab restaurant called Jimmy's Famous Seafood in Baltimore, they responded with a billboard of their own saying steamed crabs, M-E capitalized, of course, a response to that PETA billboard. And the owner of that restaurant said that Maryland's backbone is the crab industry. We saved up our money and erected the billboard. We will not be bullied into submission by PETA. So this wow. getting some buzz on social media. John says PETA messed with the wrong people. There you have it. <laughs> Don't mess with hey, Maryland man. and their crabs. I feel bad for the king crabs, but they just taste so good. They are so yummy. <laughs> I agree fair. with you, Rob, entirely. If they didn't taste so good, we wouldn't have the It's not <laughs> our fault. It's theirs. Carly, thank, thank you, you Carly. so much. <laughs>